Hello, welcome back to JD Science Prep. Today our video is on dilution calculations and we are practicing these examples. I had a previous video on this topic, so if you are unsure of how to do this, please go back and watch that one. And because it is a example video, if at any time you want to pause, go through the question and check your work afterwards, please do that. Also, if this video helps, please like and subscribe. So let's jump into number one. It says, if a person dilutes 225 milliliters of a 2.1 molar solution of potassium chloride to one liter, what would the concentration of the new solution be? So first off, we are going to go through our variables list. So we have C1, V1, C2, and V2. Let's see what we can fill this out with. So our first concentration here, it looks like the question gives us 2.1 molar. And we also get our first volume, which is uh, 225 milliliters. But remember, when we're doing these questions, let's flip it to liters. So we have 0 0.225 liters. Next up, we look at our uh, second volume here. It looks like it's going to be 1.0 liters. Let's fill that out. And it looks like we are looking for our second concentration in the question. So we are going to line this all up. We have C1V1 equals C2V2 and we are solving for C2. Therefore, we should isolate for it. Let's get V2 over to the left side. So we finally have C2 equals C1V1 divided by V2. So let's input those variables. So we have C1 as 2.1 molar and that's going to be multiplied by 0 0.2. 2.25 liters and that is all over 1.0 liters. Now if we type this into our calculator we will go 2.1 multiplied by 0.225 all over 1.0 and what you should get for a second concentration is 0 0.4725 and we have to take a quick look at significant figures. We have three, two, and two. Therefore, we should keep two significant figures. Let's go ahead and round our answer to two. So we should get 0 0.47 molar. So that is our answer to number one. Let's move on to number two. Number two states how many milliliters of a 0 0.410 molar silver nitrate solution would it take to create 500 milliliters of a 0 0.125 molar silver nitrate solution so again we're going to go through the same steps here let's fill out our variables list first and see what we're solving for so our c1 looks like it will be 0 0.410 molar and we have our V2 and our C2 as well. So our C2 looks like it's 0 0.125 molar and our V2 is 500.0 milliliters. And you know what? Let's change that to liters really quick here. We have 0 0.5000 liters. So therefore we have to be solving for V1. So let's set this up. We have C1, V1 equals C2, V2. We are gonna isolate V1. So let's divide the left side by C1 as well as the right. Therefore we'll have V1 equals 0 0.125 molar multiplied by 0 0.5000 liters and that is all over our C1 which is 0 0.410 molar. So let's solve for V1. We are going to multiply 0.125 times 0.5 and finally divide it by 0.410 and what you should get for your V1 is 0 0.15 to four liters and just quickly here the question asks in milliliters so let's convert this you should have uh, 152 milliliters and let's check sig figs here it looks like we have three 
four and three. So we can actually leave it as 152 milliliters as our volume one. All right, last example here, we have number three. It says if a person has 355 milliliters of a 1.7 molar sodium iodide solution and boils the solution until it has a volume of 255 milliliters, what is the new molarity of the solution? So let's fill out our variables list and we will uh, go through this question. So our first concentration looks like it's gonna be 1.7 molar and we also have V1 in 0 0.355 liters. I just changed the mils to liters. And finally, we have our V2 as well, which is 0 0.255 liters. So um, it looks like our volume does go down because the solution is boiled. What we're going to assume is everything that was boiled is just water and we have the exact same amount of our uh, sodium iodide in both solutions, okay? So let's set this up. We have C1V1 equals C2V2, and we're solving for C2. So let's isolate that, divide uh, by V2 on both sides, and what we should get is C2 equals 1.7 molar multiplied by our V1, which is 0 0.355 liters, and that is over 0 0.255 liters. And let's see what we get when we plug this into our calculator. So again, we have 1.7 multiplied by 0.355 divided by 0.255, and as a second concentration, you get two 0.36 molar. Let's check sig figs quick. We have three, two, and three. So let's keep two. We can round this to 2.4 molar. And that makes sense since our volume decreased as we boiled water off. So it becomes less diluted. This does make sense for us. That's the video. If this has helped, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.